you know I don't really know how to start off this letter, but I'm gonna start by saying I love you so much, sweetie. If life were easy and ready-made, I wouldn't have to write this letter to you, but being that life is unpredictable and challenging, that isn't the case. That's the thing though, life isn't easy, especially mine, and being that I would have been the person who cared for your life, it would have been hard to try to make mine and yours as easy as I could. You have no idea how much it hurt me to let you go. I really believe that we can make it with or without money. When you join me in the future, I want to make sure that you have the best of both worlds. I want you to have a carefree life and never have to worry and want for anything. I was put in a position that I hope to never go through again. A position that made me wonder if God did this for a reason. But even though I lost you, I haven't lost life, money, and education. These are the things I need in order to, to give you the best life that I can offer. The things needed to provide for my baby. And yes, you are and always will be my baby i guess i'm kind of beating around the bush but what i'm really trying to say is i hope you can forgive me for making a decision that i thought was best for both of us even though people tell me that you were only an embryo to me you will always be my baby love always mom Later that night, when I was finished with the letter, I fell asleep and had a dream. I realized that it was my baby talking to me. I heard her voice as she spoke back to me through my dreams, and I knew that I had made the right choice. Hey, Mom. I heard your letter, and I want you to know that you're forgiven. As for me, I'm cool, and I'm missing you more than ever. I know it was hard for you, but I could feel your love even though you were going through a lot at the time. I understand even though you may not think I do. Grandma wasn't even stable for you, so how could you be stable for me? Don't trip, Mama. I felt your pain, and trust me, I know I will be seeing you in the future. Oh, and I want to know how Dad is. I know he treats you good, so I know he'll be a good father. Tell him I love him and not to stress so much. Anywho, I'll see you later, Mommy. <laughs> I want young women to know that abortion is not the only option. There are three main options to choose from. The first option would be to keep the baby. The sec second option would be to keep the baby, and once the baby is born, put it up for adoption. The last option is, of course, abortion. No matter what option you choose, you should make sure that you feel comfortable enough to go through with it and know that it's the right thing to do. Look deep down in your heart and make sure you're ready to deal with this choice for the rest of your life. Be prepared to look back on your life in 15 years and see if you made the right decision. No, know that deciding to keep the baby doesn't automatically mean struggle. People always talk about the hardships you have to go through in order to keep a baby. Yes, it will be hard, but remember, it's not impossible. There are a lot of programs out there to help you get on your feet, especially when a child is involved. Know your options and resources, but remember to trust yourself with your decision no matter what.